thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out in comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam, UPCATLA, FLSAT, and all of those things. This video in particular is part of our Math Monday series in which I try to help you out when it comes to math. Now, if this is the vid first video that you're watching from this channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss because I make new videos every week. And today, we're going to talk about part 2 of our series when it comes to series of numbers. Okay? Now, last time, we talked about the sum of consecutive numbers. Today, we're going to talk about the sum of odd or even numbers. So, for example, there are some questions that uh, find the sum of all the odd numbers from 1 to 100 or find the sum of the even numbers from 1 to 100. What can you do to answer that? Question. Now you also have three options here, and I'm going to discuss all those three. And I hope makatulong to sa inyo. If uh, you want to reach out to me directly or find out one of the uh, review events natin na malapit sa inyo, or if you can want to get the reviewers that I made, you can go to wwwfacebookcom slash like and find out. All right. So if you're ready, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Let's talk about the sum of odd or even numbers in a series. So last time we talked about the pinaka uh, basic concept dito sa um, dito sa topic na ito. Pero today, we're going to raise the level. Uh, I-limit na natin. Hindi na siya talaga consecutive numbers. Instead, merong mga gaps. So, either uh, set ng odd numbers or set ng even numbers. Okay? So, the same thing as before. I'm going to give you a few options to choose from. Let me give you an example. So, ito yung option 1 natin. For example, what is the sum of all even numbers from 1 to 50? What you could do here would be, first, kung gusto nyo, ilista mo siya lahat. So, ang pinag-uusapan dito are even numbers. So, ililista mo lahat ng even numbers ngayon. Um, ang rule natin sa even numbers is these numbers, syempre, should end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Okay? Yung mga even na mga last digit. So, 0, hindi naman siya kasama kasi we're still starting with 1. At saka wala rin naman siyang bearing. So, we're going to start with 2. And then you have 4, 6, 8, and then your 10. Tapos meron kang 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. You can do this and list everything down. Kaya lang, again, same thing, no? At dun sa before, pag ginawa nyo to, it's going to take a bit of time. Kasi, iisa-isahin mo siya. And that's the entire reason why we are talking about this because I want you to find your own uh, way of solving this kung ano yung nag-work sa inyo. So, you can choose. Okay? Now, anong danger dito sa method na ito? Ang danger dito is, if hindi ka careful, you would see na you will start making mistakes. Katulad itong pagkakasulat ko sa 44, medyo hindi siya masyadong malinaw. Kung nagmamadali ka, minsan nabawaglit yan. Or minsan nagkakaroon ng lockdown. So, again, you can do it like this and then i-add mo sila lahat. Okay? That's the first option. The second option would be this. Now, this is more complicated pa than the formula dun sa unang uh, video natin sa series na ito. And actually, ito talaga yung <laughs> formula for this type of question. Kaya kahit nabigyan ka ng, uh, ng ibang klaseng question, like what is, what is the sum of all even numbers from 150 to 300, yung mga ganun, you will use this same formula. And actually, you can use the same formula for the question before na yung sum of the numbers from 1 to 100, hindi even, hindi odd. We're just going to um, switch yung mga numbers dito. If you fill in lang natin yung mga letters dun sa inahanap natin. So, of course, yung sum ang inahanap stays as S is equal to, and then yung N na ito, that, sabi natin that is the number of terms. Okay? So, ang terms ngayon na pinag-usapan kung ilan yung lalabas, and um, knowing yung pattern na from 1 to 10, kasi from the numbers from 1 to 10, there are, uh, f there are 5 even numbers. And then from 11 to 25 even numbers. Ang uh, sa numbers 1 to 50, there are actually 25 even numbers there. So this becomes 25. And then yung parenthesis natin, 2. Ang A is the first term. Ang first term natin, in this case, is going to be 2. Okay? Kasi yun na yung uh, unang qualified. So, 2 times 2, and then plus, okay, you have uh, yung n na yan, small letter n, again, the number of terms, which is 25, minus 1, and then yung d is the difference between the terms. So, in this case, it is 
going to be uh, two kasi ang difference between two terms you can get from doing this, okay? So, you have four and two, right? Yan yung magkasunod na terms. Ang difference niyan, four minus two is two. So, two and then all over two. Okay? So, and then isosolve natin siya. So, S is equal to 25. Tapos, you have 4 plus, and then since yun nakaparentesis, yun ang mauunang gagawin mo. 24 times 2 all over 2. Ingat lang sa PEMDAS, no? S is equal to 25. Tapos, you have 4 plus, at mauuna yung sign na yan kasi multiplication yan. So, you have 48. Tapos, all over 2. So, you have Ililipat lang natin dito, S is equal to 25. Tapos, yung 4 plus 48, which is going to give you 52 over 2. So, S is equal to, and then, ito na yung medyo mahaba-habang solving na magaganap. So, 52 times 25. Or actually, kasi bawat apat na 25 is 100. And sa 52, meron kang... Uh, um, sampung apat at saka tatlo pa, so 13, so you can actually put here lang 1300 um, or kung gusto nyo, pwede rin namang manually uh, you can also do that, no? pero I just prefer this part kasi uh, <laughs> pag nagme-mental math ka, mas madali na yon again, ang ginawa ko dyan is basically 52 divided by 4, so 52 divided by 4 is 13 Tapos kasi, bawat apat na 25 ay 100. So, dilagdag ko lang dalawang zero. So, 1300 13, or 1300 yung 52 times 25. Okay? So, again, you can solve your traditional method naman. Okay lang yon So, you have here 25 times 52, 1300 over 2. So, S is equal to, i-divide natin siya sa 2. You have 6 and then you have 5 and then 0. So, the answer becomes 650. Okay, so again, that is another option. Now, with the, yung nakuha natin sagot, which is 650 in mind, tingnan natin kung makukuha natin siya using, again, yung method na ginagamit natin, which is just basically finding a pattern. Okay? So again, kung mapapansin nyo, yung first term natin is 2, ang last term natin is 50. Okay? Pero the other terms will actually pair up well together and form... A, Take 50 then. Kasi if you notice, 2 and 48, that is 50. 4 and 46 is 50. 6 and 44 is another 50. Tapos yung 8 mo and 42, 50 pa rin. Okay? And then your 10 and 40 ay 50 then. So, pares-pares sila. Bawat isa niyan ay 50. Okay? So, meron kang limang, uh, limang pares, okay, sa bawat dalawang column or sa bawat sampung numbers na meron ka pang natitira dun sa sequence mo. So, kung mapapansin mo, uh, dahil meron kang 25 terms nga dito sa pares-pares na yan, and again, you can keep writing down. So, 12 and 38, you have uh, 14 and 36, 16 and 14, uh, 18 and 12, 20 and 30. So, again, kung gusto niyo so visual siya, you can write it down. Or kung sinulat niyo siya kanina, pwede mo ipares-pares na lang. Uh, Tuloy-tuloy lang natin para lang for visual reference, no? So, 22 and you have uh, 28. And then, you have 24 and 26. And then, uh, wala na kasi yan na yung buo. So, mapapansin mo dito, you have ilang 50 yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, bale, 10, 50, 11, so 10, 50 is already 500, and then 1 more, and then another more, which is going to give you 100, and then yung 50 natin na nag-iisa, so 50, and the answer will still be 650. So, pareho lang yung sagot sa mga tanong. Okay? So, the answer will still be 650. So, again, mamili kayo. Kung gusto nyo isulat lahat at i-add, you can do that. Kung gusto ninyo gamitin yung formula, you can do that. Or you can do this, yung by, by pair na lang siya. Tingnan mo kung ano yung mga pairs na mabubuo. Okay? And if you notice, may recurring theme siya eh. Right? Kung mapapansin mo siya, agad mas mabilis ka pang makakapag-add. Okay? So, tingnan natin and uh, you can, I'll give you time to practice. I'll give you actually, I'll give you three minutes to answer this. 
um, quick quiz natin for this. Uh, here's a quick quiz for you nga yung sum of other even numbers in a series. You can pick the method that works for you kung gusto mo siyang ilista lahat, kung gusto mong gamitin yung formula, or kung gusto mong gamitin yung ginagawa ko, which is finding patterns and just forming pairs. Okay? Tingnan natin. Here's the question. Alright, let's see how you did, okay? Tignan natin kung makukuha yung sagot. Kanina yung sinahanap natin sum of all even numbers from 1 to 50. This time, odd numbers naman ang gagawin natin. So, again, if you want to use the formula or if you use the formula, check natin kung ano yung tamang sagot. Fill in natin yung information. So, S is equal to, the number of terms here would be, again, looking at it, you have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, so tig for 5 pa rin siya per per uh, 10. So, we have 25 terms. And if you notice kasi yung 1 to 50 rin kanina na even, 25 numbers din. So, ito rin ay 25 din kasi hinati lang naman yung number sa kanila. So, 25. And then, you have 2 times A, which is the first term. Ang first term natin here is 1 kasi 1 is an odd number. And then, you have plus. Tapos, here, we have 25 minus 1. And then, ang D natin, difference between 2 terms, again, will still be Two. Bakit? Kasi ang 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay? So, yan yung D natin. Okay? So, again, pag other even, do nagbabago yun. Kung consecutive numbers lang, this is just 1. Okay? All over 2. So, S is equal to 25. Again, ingat lang sa PEMDAS, no? So, 2 times 1 is 2. Plus, and then you have 25 minus 1 or 24 times 2. All over S is equal to 25, 2, plus, and then 24 times 2 is 48. So, again, magkahawig naman siya dun sa kanina, kaya lang magkaiba kasi ng first term 
Kaya doon magkakatalo. Over 2. Okay? So, S is equal to 25 times 50. Kasi 2 plus 48 is 50. All over 2. S is equal to, and then you can multiply 25 by, by 50. Okay? Again, you can do it in a traditional way like that. Or, kasi ang 25 times 5 is 125, lalagyan ko lang siya ng 0 sa dulo, 1, 2, 50 divided by 2. The answer here is going to give you 1,250 divided by 2 is 6, 2, 5, 625 ang sagot. Okay? So, again, that is if you memorize the formula. Ang problema dito is this. You will start to think, sulit ba na i-memorize ko yung formula na to para lang dun sa... Uh, civil service exam or sa OPCAT or sa LAE. Tapos, hindi natin sure kung lalabas yung tanong. Or, should, should I just uh, try it a different route? Now, ako personally, allergic kasi ako sa pag-memorize ng formula. And just looking at this, uh, it's really not worth my time. Pero kung gift nyo ang memorization, you can memorize this and then try to apply it sa araw ng exam. Okay? So, again, choose which works for you. Now, let's try using yung pairing up na method. Okay? Some of our numbers from 1 to to 50. So, if you notice, you can pair 1 and 49, that is 50. 3 and 47 is 50. 5 and 45 is 50. 7 and, 40, 7 and 43 is 50. And then, you have 9 and 41. 50 pa rin yan. So, lahat yan, all 5 of those, 50. Moving up, pwede kang mag-start sa 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. And ang kapares nila is yung 30s na level. So, 39, 37, 35, 33, and 31. So, again, all of these, 50-50 uli yan. Okay? Ngayon, this is when it starts to get trickier kasi mag intersect na yung lahat ng numbers. So, you have here 21, kasi yung nakasunod ng 19, 21. And then, ang kapares niya is yung sinusundan nito, which is 29. 23 and 27 is another 50. Kaya lang yung number sa gitna nito, okay, ang kasunod na niyan is 25, right? Ang kasunod na nito, 25 din. It's the same number. So, ito ay mag-isa. And then you have these. So, you have ilang 50 yan. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 na 50 at isang 25. Okay? So, ang 12 na 50, that is just 500 plus another 100. So, 600. So, the answer here will still be 625. Again, kung ano yung nag work better for you. But if you notice, you still get the, the same answer, 625. Okay? So, I hope you got that right. If not, keep practicing. And uh, again, kaya niya yan. Basta practice lang ng practice. Okay? Alright! I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. I'd love to hear back from you guys. So never stop learning. Aja aja, kainyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.